good kitten internet um welcome to what is now going to be episode four of the starfield series i thought i only had episode one recorded until i edited things we did go on and on um, and on the problem with playing a game for the first time is you don't know when a good place to stop is yeah and i kept feeling like oh the boss captain whatever is just around the corner no, I should have actually stopped before we entered the place. Uh -huh. That is almost exactly the <laughs> midpoint of what we recorded last time. <laughs> anyway, um, I am Aetherspoon, this is Knut here, and this is Zone. Zone, I am going to need my wrist, I'm sorry, Kenny. And let's get back to Starfield. Uh, where we last left off, we are level 2, we are exploring the first dungeon of the game effectively. And we still have lung damage. And we still have lung damage, because we have found cures for multiple illnesses, but not ours. And our prognosis is poor. Yes. I think that just means it's not going to heal on its own. We're going to need to find a doctor or something. Yeah, I think so too. Um, this is where we fought a bunch of pirates, but I have not explored things in here. Can only flash light. Okay. Also, I'm going to lower my volume. Lowering my volume requires TV remote, which fell down there. I don't think that's going to be easy to get at. It's like over here. Yeah, I, I see it. Okay. Uh... I'll just pause really fast. And back again after uh, Theotir got the remote control for the TV. And then my alarm on my phone started going off. Speaking of, I am setting a timer for one hour. <laughs> Actually, I will set a timer for 55 minutes. There we go. That will at least tell me when to wrap up. All right, getting back in. Oh yeah, helps if I actually lower the volume on my side. There. Okay, so uh, if you can't tell by the fact that we are in fact not wearing the same clothes as yesterday, it's another day. It is in fact the next day. Today is the 5th of September. I am 40 years old and one day now. That one day. Ooh, more sparkling water. Not sparkling water. Did that just say mystery glass? I don't think so. No, must not have. Cylindrical glass. Okay. Ah. Like mystery glass. Oh, I heard those. Glasses cylindrical. Oh, no. whiskey glasses aren't. I mean, that's yeah. definitely not cylindrical. Oh yeah, the most glasses aren't just straight cylinder. They're right. Sort of slanted. They have shapes. A little bit of a different experience playing this game when it's daylight here. The TV definitely works best at night and not during the day. I could lower the blinds. Eh, it's not needed. It's not like it's reflecting light off the TV or anything right now. Unless you think it's needed. Mm, it would probably be a small improvement. Ooh, 277 points. Molecule extractor? That was good value for its weight. There was a surge. Yeah, give me Sky UI. I mean, I will admit Star this UI. is... Yeah, Star UI. Star UI, there we go. <laughs> Although, there might be. I have not um, looked into any mods whatsoever. It's two or different mods. I mean, there probably are some. Oh, there definitely are. Um, there were mods on day one. Well, the scientists have definitely... That, that scientists look kind of pale. Yeah. Yeah. It might just be the glare from your flashlight, though. Maybe it could be. Drag, Let's drag the body over to the light. Yeah. Oh, you move slowly when you drag too. Yeah, it's almost as if it's heavy. No, no, they're definitely pale. And slightly moving—that is so creepy. Yes. But that—that—that's that... Bethesda physics. Yeah. Synth leather streetwear. 
Mm. I prefer real leather. Synthetic stuff just flakes. And yes, it's but plastic. This synth leather might be that they synthetically grew a cow. Or that is molecularly the same as yeah. real leather. It's just constructed synthetically. Keep struggling me there, Vasco. Vasco, did you just crouch? Crouch? You're blocking where I wanted to go, too. Weapon case. Another Equinox, okay. Uh that's creepy looking. I'm betting we're going to be fighting one of those in here. Or we're going to be fighting one of those. Whether it's in here or not is a different question. Looks like they were working with one of those little things that attack the scientists out downstairs. I can't remember what it... Ooh, non! Non. It's just non. Non and lentils. Oh, on no. Genetic sample bottle. At a biohazard facility? What can possibly go wrong with that? I have not explored all the way downstairs, but I don't even know if it's worth doing that. So I am filling up on junk fast. Okay, so I can make bandages, which would be for treating those things. So what I need is treat. I need an injector. So I need a membrane and a metabolic agent. Okay. Um... Okay, someone has found a box. Yes. Alternately, I can get snake oil. But that requires more stuff. Two metabolic agents. A sedative yes. and, and chlorine. And it was penicillin X. It's a high intensity antibiotic. Hmm. But yeah, basically I need a membrane and a metabolic agent, I think. Okay. Oh, tag for search. Same as in the report. Huh. If you had the... You might need a perk for it to highlight, though. Hmm, could be. Oh, we have materials. Fiber, analgesic. I wonder if we have all of the materials that we need around here. Although I didn't see a membrane. Which is... What does a membrane even look like? I have no idea. I haven't found one. Maybe turn on the flashlight? Uh, text on the whiteboard that looked readable. Recheck database of known controllable species. Hmm. And another molecule. I am not very good with my chemistry, so I cannot tell you what these no. are. No. Notepads, plural. So if I found a membrane, that's the only thing I needed, right? At this point? No, you needed the other thing as well. Oh, I also need the metabolic agent. So I need to make my wrist rest again for playing. There we go. This is a very jank setup, by the way. <laughs> uh, if you can't tell, we're actually sitting on a couch and the TV is that way, which is why you're only seeing the left side of my face. But this was the only way to do it, and also get the green screen behind us, and also make it where we could actually see what we're doing. But it works. Okay. Hmm. 
decontamination showers. Yep. Danger what? Flammables, probably? Corrosive liquids, wear acid and gloves and goggles. Mm -hmm. Or wear acid gloves, not wear acid and gloves. Dang it, brain. <laughs> Need my acid. Ah! Does that appear to be anything actually in there? Uh, before I go through that door, I am going to search down. Boom pop reactor and chunks cola packaged. <coughs> Stupid cough. Oh, but I am over encumbered, I think. Yeah. Captain, protocol indigo dictates that I am to return to may I take some things. You were saying? The dead scientists appear to be old, much older than the pirates. Yes. I'm pretty sure that the pirates went to an abandoned facility, not that they murdered everybody in here. Gonna give Vasco all of the notes. And we have four Grendels. We do not need four Grendels. We also Ooh, there's don't... a Maelstrom and a modified Maelstrom. That has a sight. We so. also don't need a how many rescue access do you have? Is it eight or is it hotkey to eight? It's hotkey to eight. Okay. Or, no, we do have eight of them. Yes. Okay, we have eight axes. We, don't we need only need one. And Vasco can't, can't carry, carry any more. Well, he can carry some more things, just not heavy things. Yes. Just give him a lot of foam cups. Or... I... Now Vasco can't carry any more, but I should grab the lockpicks. Yeah. Okay, that actually is... Can I sort? No. That yeah. would be too easy. Hit C oh. to sort by weight. Wait, there we go. Okay, now Vasco's inventory is full. Okay. Close enough to full. So at some point, oops, I did not mean to actually hit that. Um, at some point, we are going to actually have to not pick things up. I'm sorry. We literally cannot carry more. I'm going to quickly go grab things from downstairs. And did it just jump off? I'm not sure if that's going to hurt or not. Not that tall, at least. Okay, I did loot these pirates. But I didn't, like, loot the desks. So, I'm assuming this is an alien situation. Insert big evil corporation slash government. Mm -hmm. They were experimenting on aliens. One broke loose and killed everybody. Yes, and specifically researching its use as a bioweapon. Yes. That's the alien reference part, I suppose. Because... Yeah. Okay. That area searched. This area was reasonably searched, if I remember correctly. This area wasn't. What were those things on the desk? Uh, teeth? Claws? Not something I can pick up? Mm. Yeah, it looks like talents. Mm -hmm. Boom pop cherry. I get more money from looting scientists than anything else so far. 
somebody's arm is in the pressure chest. Kind of surprised the pirates didn't loot the scientist bodies. Yeah, that's a good point. Why wouldn't they have? Hmm. Maybe they haven't been here that long. Or maybe they're worried about contamination. Yeah, I doubt nope. that part. Pirates are yeah. nope. known for... Computer. Weapons case. Crackler. That's a new pistol. Heal paste. Wrong type of treatment, but I appreciate it nonetheless. Resume last user session. Project Pet Shop. My staff and I arrived this morning, and I'm not surprised to see the facility completely operational. As usual, the United Colony is spared no expense. It's all very exciting, inspirational, really, knowing you have the full support of the decision makers. I have to admit, I was surprised to learn that the lab is a closely guarded secret located in Free Start Collective Terror Space, no less. But we go where the work takes us. Xeno Warfare is the evolution of armed force, armed ground combat. Conflict. I can read, I swear. We know it, and the Free Star Collective surely knows it as well. Forget what the calendar says. This is 1942 all over again. We may as well be the Manhattan Project, racing to create the game changer before the other side. To that effect, I'm overjoyed to officially announce Project Pet Shop. Phase 1 is a go. Arthropods are, in a word, incredible. Calm, easy to work with. They even allow themselves to be fitted with the NCIs without much trouble. Synchronization has thus far been nearly instantaneous and their control fidelity has remained at the 95-97% range. They've passed all environmental survivability tests as well. Hot, cold, low, no oxygen. I'm pretty sure these things could effective, operate effectively in any environment. Most promising is how well they've integrated with the Red Devils, who have joined us for a period of extensive training. After all, they'll be leading these creatures in combat, so it's critical that they establish a war bond. After months of testing a variety of extraterrestrial species, I'm overjoyed to report that we have finally found a species that will serve as the backbones of the United Colony Xeno Warfare Division. The arthropods are everything that we have hoped for and more. Imagine a pack of, al pack of alien beasts suited for any terrain, capable of instant instantly obeying any command. I have designated these beasts Obedientes Pes, but we just call them stalkers. So that's what the stalkers outside are. Mm. I think it may be time to crack open that bottle of Chateau Avignon 2170. The Red Devil's progress with the Stalkers have been nothing less than amazing. Now, I see why they're so regarded in the UC military circles. None of that rah-rah bullshit that you see with the regular grunts. These are focused professionals. After another week of training here in the pet shop, I'm confident that they'll be ready for a live test in the field. Mickelson suggests that I contract... Colonel Kara Kasarov, and find out where his marines grabbed that spider from the early trials. He wants his cub up and but then it would make for a good trial. Yeah, this all seems like a terrible idea. I've been looted. There's some stuff. More on the ground. At your feet. One drop. Vasco, please move out of the way. Thank you. Okay. And we have looted the rest. All right. Mind me, apparently I'm a melee expert. I see them up on the rafter. Or she's just walking like that. Wait. Really? Well, that proves that my ally can trigger things without me. You appear to be 
appear to be prioritizing our deaths over your own survival. So there was this modified one that has a sight on it. Then we also got the Rattler, which is new. How does that compare to the Eon? Eon looks to be generally worse. Okay. That's what the site looks like, apparently. Yes, I know. the people in here. We're sneaking to see if anyone is you. Nope. Apparently my companion killed them. Okay. I was trying to kill things myself, Asko, but sure. Amp. What is amp? Amp. Steroid to enhance jump height. Yes, if we... well, we might need that in some environments. Yeah. Maybe not this environment, but... Oh, it's locked. involved than Skyrim lock picking, but not by a significant amount. Predictable? They've been using that phrase unpredictable a lot. This is why it was locked. Sarcasm. Sulfur, Argon, Calcium, and Submarium. Graham's not... But... Chemists have all the solutions. <laughs> Somebody had fun making these posters. Mm -hmm. War. We're at war. By establishing the colony of Vesta, the Freestar Collective have forced the UC's hand. The unmitigated Gaul, thinking that they could control us, control over a fourth star system. Such a flagrant violation of the Treaty of Narian. Our diplomats tried to resolve this peacefully, but the Council of Governors just wouldn't listen to reason. Apparently they claimed the Vesta was not a colony, but rather an insignificant farming outpost. <laughs> nice try. By all accounts, the Red Devils and Stalkers worked in perfect unison, and the results were everything we could have ever hoped for. No Red Devil or Stalker casualties. Vesta's defenders were apparently taken by complete surprise, which greatly contributed to their fatality rate of 93%. I think it was a farming outpost. Yeah, that actually does sound like a farming outpost. Thank you very much. This is a great day for the Red Devils, a great day for the United Colonies, and a great day for Xeno Warfare. Note, no, it's not lost on me that this classified facility is actually located within Freestar Collective Space. So goes the great game. Phase 2. It's finally time. After a number of successful missions with the Red Devils, the Stalkers have proven to be exactly the weapons that we had hoped for. So it's time to expand our operations. MAST has finally approved the next stage of this facility's operations. We've officially stopped work on the Stalkers. There are enough creatures in the field to serve the Red Devils, who haven't been here to train in over a year. If they need more, we can easily gather some from the planet and fit them with NCIs. But from this point on, our focus is Phase 2. 
Throughout the settled systems, from civilized worlds to backwater bush towns, pilots have had to deal with this nuisance commonly known as the heat leech, which we've actually had to deal with. Yeah, that's the long yeah. thing. I have had my own unpleasant experience four years ago at the new Atlanta spaceport. My transport was delayed while the deck crew removed a few of these filthy little things from the aft thrusters. They're attracted to heat, feed off of it through some endothermic process, so thrusters are the perfect place for them to hide. They can take a full afterburner burst with no ill effects. No ill effects on the heat leeches, that is. A ship with an infestation can generally expect a 3-5% drop in thruster efficiency. Working with the heat leeches have been interesting, if not entirely satisfying. We have 11 of them in the lab, and by all accounts, they're completely innocuous, save for their heat siphoning properties. But what if there was a way to weaponize them? Perhaps artificially enhance their heat siphoning to completely and instantly disable a ship? Or even better, somehow reverse the process so they transfer their own heat into a ship? Someday. Today, I fear we lack the means to do either. <sighs> Cave Johnson would be proud. Modified Kraken Pistol. Doesn't do much damage, but it has a suppressor on it, so it's useful for stealth. Hmm. Ooh, our first grenade. And mines. Now, don't get me wrong, I appreciate all of the random sample bottles and so on, but I would really like to be able to cure my cough by now. Just saying. Yep, I actually do have to start dropping inventory. Well, you could sort by weight to value ratio. Yeah, if only. So, various spacesuits, space helmets, weapons. I'm guessing I'm going to drop the microscopes. Maybe some of the excess weapons, since they weigh quite a bit. I could drop them, but they're actually worth money is the problem. Yeah. And I have no idea, like, how rare money is actually going to be for us. Probably dropping some junk. Yeah. Like, what? Which would include microscopes. I'll drop two. Ah, uh, the standard Bethesda drop at your feet. <coughs> yes, yes, I have a cough, I know. Carrying so many things is reducing our travel speed. Yeah, I'm now losing. Yeah. O2 whenever I move. These things are heavy. I would probably grab some of the junk from Vasco and drop it. Like, yeah, the that's notebooks probably, bad. probably aren't Good worth all that much. I am programmed for combat commencing. Item exchange protocols. Or how about the 10 pound dumbbell? <laughs> yes, the 10 pound dumbbell is not worth its weight. Oh, I have to take it from Vasco to drop it. Got it. Mm hmm. I want some of those, though. Yeah.
fire extinguisher is not usually heavy. <laughs> That's what you want, not necessarily what we want. Okay, switch over. Ah, that was very hot up against my arm, by the way. Mm, sorry. Uh, fall. Hurt by weight. Please take some of these things, Fasco. Ah. Damn it, I did it again. I am not used to the controls on this. I didn't comment on video, but um, I think the controls are really clunky. Oh, Vasco can't carry any more of that. What about... So, like... The key controls are all overloaded, Again, where release. pressing and pressing and holding. Carrying everything yourself. That, that's not what I want to do. Yeah, some of them make sense. Like, it's fine to have the same key for sheeting your weapon and reloading it. Right, but, like, turning on the light versus going into inspect mode? That is an awful overload. Can you scan the scientist? Uh, no. I can't. Because it's not native? Yeah. <clears throat> this does at least highlight things that I have not picked up. Which is nice. Picking up the digital frame. Cube! I'm pretty sure I have a cube already. And of course I'm picking up every succulent. Cubes. Yes. Ooh, prognosis, prognosis improved lung damage. Oh, we are actually healing? Uh, skills. Nice. Status. So stable. Stable. Okay, so we do heal eventually. Maybe. Maybe. Anyway, I wanted to do this over at the... Uh, where was that? Where all of the medical stuff was? That's over here. It was just a vial that I missed. Drat. I was hoping that I had missed some vital things for making the healing thing that I need. Apparently not. And this really does have nothing in it. Okay. Okay, let's head back. There's so much junk everywhere. Yes, the scientist is dead. But especially in Fallout 4, if you're in power armor, it's the same, like, hold the uh, activation key, E, to, by default, but I have it key mm -hmm. to space instead, for dragging an item around and exiting your power armor. Ooh. Like, that, that's just bad design. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how people on a console play this game. Like, there's so many overloaded keys. There's more overloaded keys than there are, like, keys. Like, buttons that you can even use. Yeah. Oop, we got microbial. That was one of the two no, ingredients. No, it was antimicrobial. Yeah, that's what I... Sorry, we got No, anti you need membrane... And antimicrobial, wasn't it? No. Anyway, I'm overburdened again. Um, oh, right, I haven't dropped the dumbbell. Also, just hitting the key isn't necessarily enough sometimes, and I don't understand why. Well, those are actually valuable. Keep those back up. I'll just keep the... Dumbbell away. Oh, there's definitely things around. I remember that I might have locked somebody in here. I'm not seeing anybody in here. I 
empty beer bottle. That's a very low value. Yeah. And the fact that it's green on the edges, does that mean you're about to be detected by someone who's not hostile to you? I'm not sure. More molecule extractors. This was the no. This is the different room. Locker room was elsewhere. Um, an example bottle. Yeah, I've got them in here. Maybe green is based off of line of sight. Don't see anybody in there. Although now it's not even coming up as unhidden anyway. More duct tape. I mean vacuum tape. This looks like a trap, but it's not. A really, really big trap. We're out of half and half, by the way. Just thought you might want to know. Another dead scientist. Lots more notebooks and stuff. He didn't win. That's the person that we've been reading about. Yeah, that's the lead scientist. Yeah. Take her folder, though. What's the... Medical clearance. Yeah, but there's some text on the cup. I put the I in team. Okay. You should take that one mug in particular. Yes. Looks like he's been dead for a while. Maybe yeah. he has been chewed on too. Looks possible. Blood's coming from up here though, which is weird. Well. Paramorph specimen. Thanks to the UC Marines, we now have the second piece of the puzzle, a fully grown alpha predator. Yay! According to my research, a group of astrogeologists made first contact nearly 100 years ago on some remote moon. The creature didn't appear to be indigenous and was alone. There's currently no record of how it got there, so it was sheer cosmic chance that astrogeologists found it, or rather, it found them. Scientists were Quick to categorize it, Akashio Machina? Machina, I should say. Roughly killing machine. Akashio. It's Latin. I'm terrible with Latin. The UC Marines were tasked with taking it down to a... chose a simpler name, Terramorph. I read the official record once. Of the eight-person squad, only two of the grunts survived, and one of those two lost a leg. Such an exciting time to be in the Xeno Warfare. You have some kitty in your life. Today, we fit the Terramorph with the NCI. If our experience with the when the Grunts first dropped it off the creature is any indication, our sedation window will be around 15 minutes. We better make them count. And that's the last thing on this user session written by Hayden over here. I think I might know what yeah, happened. Yeah, but there was also that audio recording that... Yep. yep. Oop. Prognosis improved again. Really? That's just what popped up. Good. Hmm. It's loose. The Terramorph is loose. We can't stop it. When, when we tried to sync with the neural control interface, it just completely flipped out. Broke through its containment chamber like it was made out of paper. It killed Michelson, Cobb, and Sumatri in all of one minute. I'm, I'm not even sure where it is now. It took off deeper into the facility. A, a security detail went in after it, but good friggin' luck. I'm going to make a run for the comm relay and try to call in the cavalry. This is Hayden Wynn, lead xenobiologist, wishing he had gone to dentist school like his parents wanted. 
That's only labeled one, so that means there might be more of them. Just beyond. How large is this, though? I'm seeing a hidden thing pop up again. This is going to be a problem. Nope, it's going to be these. That's the puzzle part, is figuring out which lockpicks to use when. Yeah. I mean... Well, I didn't notice this blood spider here before. Can you hear that? Okay. If six inches... brand? We'll have to something for ridge. Step shelves, step fronts, hanging shelves. This is a planogram for a retail shop. What? Okay. Maybe the term of this one. detected a safe nearby. We could make use of whatever is inside, provided you had some digipics and a disregard for personal property rights. I do, in fact, have that. Both of those things. Both of those things, yes. It's just a heat leech. It's now a dead heat leech. Only novice. This won't be too bad. Uh, let's see. Med Theft Eon Epic Pistol. Extended magazine and med theft. Chance that humans drop extra med packs on death. What? You okay? That sounds weird and I want it. Our first legendary. Or epic. Legendary is frequently a tier above epic. Traditionally, they're colored yellow or golden instead of purple. Why there's this color thing that has been standard for a while, I have no idea. Anyway, uh, we should hotkey some of these weapons. This is the better one. And the modified Hellstrom is going to be, instead of the Maelstrom, and modified Kraken is going to be here. Sure. We'll go with that. This is suspicious. This is very suspicious. Rip shank. <clears throat> and the deep mining space helmet is apparently rare. And I got chlorine. Yes, I know I'm over encumbered. The new items. Chlorine or thing you needed? For yes. Something? Uh, that was an alternative for one of the yeah, ways for, of curing for myself. Yeah, for the, um, yeah. oil. Yep. Right. 
aim to reposition mics. What is rip shank? Rip shank. It's a shank that rips. Is it better than the hatchet? Might be. Um. Have to switch over to weapons. So I can equip the rescue axe. It's not more damage, but it might be faster. Likely. It is definitely lighter. Mm -hmm. Let's find out. Although, I think I should wear this helmet. Mm -hmm. Prepared to equip helmet. It is identical other than the special effect. So yes. You ran out of CO uh, you ran out of O2? That's just from swapping helmets? Maybe. Must be. I think it's about the same speed actually. Hmm. Your watch beeps faster as your suit runs out of protection. My suit's not running out. We are, however, no longer injured. Oh, yes, we are. Never mind. I'm just blind. Yes, I know. I'm supposed to go that way. Hush. outdoors and I've been seen by what it's reminding you that running while encumbered will spend oxygen so I think you're over encumbered it must be yeah I'm over encumbered by a lot I actually need to drop useful things. It's not even that heavy. Okay, what am I carrying that's heavy? Space suit. Tunnel mining pack. Modified weapon. I assume. A couple of mace drums. Yeah. I mean, they are worth quite a bit, but. I'll drop. Drop four. What am I detected by? Something that isn't currently trying to kill you. Ah. You gotta be kidding me. The Frontier has a new captain? You working with Barrett, or did you pry the ship keys out of his cold, dead hands? Cough, cough, cough. Alright, so do I lie? Do I attack? We don't have a problem with Barrett. We want that ship, the Frontier. If you're the captain of it now, that means we're after you. Oh no, you see, we weren't really after Barrett. We're after that ship. Every Crimson Fleet rook hears about the frontier. That constellation keeps treasure hidden in the cargo bays. The loot from a hundred planets. The happy is partially correct. The frontier has been to many planets and moons, but the only things held in the cargo bays are spare parts, dust, desiccated food particles, and a variety of species of ant. ant. I don't care what kind of lies Barrett programmed that robot to say. We're taking that shit. I see flammable things behind. Mm -hmm. You're not talking <clears throat> us out of this school. Persuade a person, you need to make successful choices. Choices can range from kind words to distractions to threats. 
Each choice has a difficulty. The higher the difficulty, the greater the chance the choice fails, but the more points you'll earn when you succeed. You'll have a limited number of choices you can make, but you can never fail if your last choice succeeded. Okay. Go with the medium choice, I think. You're willing to give up the ship? Just like that? Don't give me that. I know that ship is stocked with loot. I'm getting that ship. Nope. Stop trying to confuse me. I've heard enough out of you. Spirit and Victor's fleet have something of a history. They always assume he is a treasure hunter. All right, I am full. Ah, I can't jump when I'm overloaded. Hmm. Gonna have to drop something then. Yep. Of course, the things I just picked up are very valuable, so I'm not going to drop any of those. Cornered Maelstrom. Cornered. Damage increases as health decreases, yeah. Um. So the same as Bloodied in Fallout 4. Apparently. For reference, I have not really played all that much Fallout 4, so I am not knowledgeable in this regard. I have thousands of hours in Fallout 4. I don't remember how many thousands. I think it was three or five. It was an odd number of thousands. Ooh. Keep forgetting how far, how high up I jump. When you're not already covered. No falling damage. Are, are you sure about that? Come on. Oh. You're kind of low on health. I was. Oh. No. Here. Darn it. I was trying to get and steal their ship. I was told that it was possible to actually steal somebody's ship. And you're over Yeah. And you are out of ammo in the current book. I know. You were trying to kill me, but I am not technically alive. We should now be free to travel to Constellation's headquarters without prison. I was really hoping to loot stuff up there, and I don't want to go all the way back through again. Are you going to loot that bully? That one? Oh. Please, the credits. Yeah. Another one. I might have we love you again. I suppose. I'm waiting for my afternoon to get back up before I walk back to the ship so I can unload stuff. Mm-hmm. Not running. As much as I want to. We need to reach the Alpha Centauri system, Captain. The planet of Jemison. Alpha Centauri system, okay. <coughs> okay, cough drops that much, got it. Yeah, so you should make sure you always have, have at least half. Yeah. I'm just trying to get back to the ship so I can drop off some equipment. 
not even that far away anymore. But yeah, I heard about somebody telling me that um, they had gone on a mission, a pirate had dropped their ship off, and they jumped into the pirate ship and the pirate ship left with them. Hmm. And I wanted to see what that looked like. Within sight. Hello, arthropods. Hello, bites are arthropods, right? I think they are. <coughs> ah. Ooh. That was close. That was a little close. Okay. Maybe you should inspect your ship for heat leeches before taking off. We must jump to yeah, planet Genesis in the Alpha Centauri system, and then land in the city of New Atlantis. Do not worry, this will all become second nature before too long. Thanks, Vasco. But for now, I'm just trying to find a container to put things in. There's gotta be one around here, right? Right? Please. I mean, I could just drop it on the floor, I guess. <laughs> like a barbarian. I think I'm going to have to. There are no containers, even though it looks like well, there are. Can I store things in the galley? I mean, I can now actually make alien sandwich and alien scramble. We have That's... been an hour. Ish. Um, we're stopping before we depart, but... Okay, but I can't store anything in here. It would be with R if it was the same as Fallout 4. But you also only have use as an option, yeah. so... Yep, this is gonna be my- nope, this is my junk bathroom. <laughs> no, um, and it's gonna be this corner. must be like a cargo hold yeah i mean they've even mentioned the cargo hold right all sort by weight that's a strictly better version of that one you get dropped those are at least uh yeah, that's a strictly better version of that one. But you're getting dropped. Ah, so it's a laser rifle. Got it. Good enough. Yep, junk on the floor like a barbarian. Um, research station. Can I do anything in here now? exclamation points. Ah, we have learned about being able to do more research. Not that we can do much of any of this, but we've learned about it. Wait, we have antimicrobial in our inventory. I remember us picking it up. Maybe you gave it to Vasco. Oh yeah, that's likely. Need to take everything off of Vasco. Where is Vasco? Uh, downstairs. He doesn't need oh. to go up in the cockpit because he doesn't require a lot of I suppose. Spot. You can probably access the cargo uh, bay from here as well, maybe? We should be free of Crimson Flight and ready to commence a trade. Make all. I will accept. I did not mean to do that. Just seeing if there is a cargo bay. Seeing if the cargo bay is accessible from the outside. 
it? It's like, no. Kind of? Like, those morning stripes are for this yeah. opens. Why aren't you looking at it? I did. No, you weren't very close. I was close enough. There's nothing there. Huh. I haven't finished the survey of this planet, but I'm not going to do that right now. I can always... Presumably it can come back. Yes. Ah. I didn't notice these things. Why is there a... Your spinal health will be compromised by carrying so many items. I'm aware. That's why I'm not going any further, Vasco. Just going to here. Okay. What can I actually research? Yes, yes. Cough, cough, whatever. Absolutely none of this. Why is it saying material available? And also saying you have zero. Yeah. I definitely have those materials, so that's accurate, but... It doesn't look like I can actually assemble anything right now. Oh, that? I have all the material for. Do you have sealant? According to that, where it says materially available, I do. But it also says here. Ah, here we go. This is how I do it. And then click on Barrel Mods 2. I need Weapon Engineering. Okay. I have all three of this. I have way more aluminum than everything else, so I'm going to use that. I'm more interested in food. I don't have anything required for it. We can't do any of that. We can't do that. Like, the food, we only have bread and meat. We don't have cheese. Here, we only have fiber. I thought we had found water, but apparently not. And here, we only have alkanes? Alkaline? Yeah, that's what I thought it would be, alkalines, yeah. but that's alkanes. Hmm. So we yeah. can't make any of that. And we do not have amino acids to make heal paste. Okay. I'm going to go drop off more things in my cargo area. Uh, I'm just going to save an exit. There's a help <laughs> section in, in, in the menu somewhere, isn't there? There is. Isn't there? Somewhere? There like, is? Help. Help. Uh, anything about cargo... Containers. Containers. Uh, Unless we own the container, your stuff... You store your stuff in, there's no guarantee it will stay. Otherwise, yeah. it doesn't say anything. Hmm. Mentions contraband. Or crime. My brain merged these together as fast food. Good travel? Mm hmm. Outposts. Well, we don't have any of that yet, so I'm not going to look through things. Piracy is a thing. Who would have thought? Um, ship cargo is not listed. Where am I supposed to put my stuff? Your home? 
which we have in theory. Can we actually go to it? Shall we end the I think so. video? Yeah, let's go ahead and end it here. It's been over an hour. And then I will spend some time reading some of the things in the help section. Mm. Okay. Hope you've enjoyed this internet, and I'll talk to you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye!